Thai chili peppers are a hot pepper variety that are easy to grow and spicy enough to pack a punch. The Thai chili pepper variety that we are growing today is called Prick Ki New and uh, this is a very heavy producer and produces in as little as 30 to 60 days. Now let's look at the planting technique. So this Thai chili pepper is also called the ornamental Thai chili pepper because it also has a lot of ornamental value. So it's best grown in containers and that's what we are doing here. We have this large container and we're going to be planting our Thai chili pepper plant in this container. Now what you do is remove the peat pot and then plant it in this container. We are using a mix of peat moss, compost, worm castings and also sand. I added a little bit of sand. I realized that peppers grow very well when you add a little bit of sand in your potting mix. And make sure that the pH of the soil stays around 6 to 6.5 which is perfect for growing peppers. Now some of you have asked a question whether ornamental peppers are edible. Well the answer is yes and no. Yes, because you need to make sure that you check with the plant supplier that those peppers are edible. For example, these hot peppers, I verified it on the Bonnie website that these ornamental peppers are very much edible. But if it's specifically labeled as not edible, uh, do not eat those peppers. And within about a couple of weeks after planting, we had to downsize the container for this Thai chili plant to this 5 gallon container because we needed the larger container for a curry leaf plant. It's now July and you can see that the pepper plant is quite loaded with peppers. So these peppers can be sowed directly in the soil but if you're late in the season like if you're in July or June you can just get a plant from your garden center and then plant it. And as you can see here, within about 30 days, this plant is loaded with a lot of small chili peppers. This small chili pepper reminds me of the Pequin pepper. It's a similar pepper variety, a hot pepper variety. So this plant doubles up as not only a very beautiful looking ornamental plant, but is also loaded with a lot of small peppers. Now these peppers are not very large in size but they do make it up by producing a lot of these small pods that you see here. And these are extremely hot peppers and if you let them go red, their flavor or their heat increases even further. I like to harvest my peppers when they're green and I know one of you asked me a question as to why do I always harvest my peppers when they're green? Well, it really depends on how you want your peppers to taste. I think there's a subtle difference in flavor when the peppers go from green to red. So if you want slightly hotter peppers, you can wait till they turn red like these. And they are still very hot, hotter than the green peppers that we are seeing here. And once again, these are smaller in size, but they are extremely hot. They are about 50,000 to 100,000 units on the Scoville unit which is a measurement of the pepper's heat index. And it's a beautiful looking plant. And as you can see here, uh, we are not seeing any pests or diseases on this plant. And as far as the fertilizer goes, we did not add anything else to our potting mix, uh, just the compost and worm castings to start with. And that seemed to be enough nutrition for this pepper plant. Now, if you see deficiencies in your pepper plant, I would definitely advise adding a tomato or vegetable fertilizer that works great for peppers as well especially when the pepper is in the flowering stage you do need to supply a lot of nutrients so make sure you're fertilizing your plant well throughout the growing season now for those of you who live in moderate temperature zones like southern california you can overwinter these peppers you can just let them grow through the winters they might stop producing in the winter season, but they will come back up in the next spring season. So it's a great hardy pepper plant that you can grow through winters in moderate areas. 
and once again this is how a harvest looks like as you can see a small peppers but they do pack a punch so there we have it folks that was our episode on growing the hot thai chili peppers if you've grown this pepper variety before do let us know drop in a comment if you like this video do give us a thumbs up and we'll see you again soon bye